Let's just go on the brink of anarchy, basically. That's what that was. It was. It was. It, it got a little touchy yeah. there for a second. But now let's roll back into a you know uh, a spot where the electoral college is still in practice. Um, what happens? I mean, obviously we all know what happens with. As soon as the first state succeeds or secedes from the union, the United States, do you foresee the dominoes falling and multiple states following, or do you see, you know, some sort of like federal intervention to where like, no, 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 you can't, you can't do that. Do you want me to go first? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I see, in my opinion, kind of like the whole weed thing with Colorado, where they paid attention to what Colorado was doing, mm-hmm. and then followed suit based off of the facts and evidence afterwards. So I think it would be a slow burn. Whoever goes first, they're, everybody's going to keep a watchful eye on and see how it plays out. And if it plays out a certain way that they think is appropriate, they'll fucking do the same thing. Okay, what what do you got on that? I I would disagree with with that everybody's going to wait. I mean, just the way the world is today, everybody's like, as soon as as one thing happens, another thing happens, the dominoes start falling, the floodgates would be open, and then there would be so many areas or states that believe that they they want to leave as well. uh, But they would be... Logical and there'd be implications for doing that. You know what I mean? Like, if you leave our country, then. What, what, what do you mean by implications? With the whole taxation with the imports and exports and all of that. There, oh, okay, well, I mean, more... that's a totally different thing that, you know, we'll actually. Well, how are you going to survive? We, 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 we actually yeah. have an example of that, to be honest with you, with, uh, with Brexit. When Britain left. Uh, the Euro, the uh, Europe, the EU, the mm-hmm. EU, they left and they are doing perfectly fine. But that that's its own they were singular part of, situation. They, they, were, they were part of Europe. They were part of Europe, and they still trade. You don't think Europe. the federal government's mm-hmm. not going to take advantage of a, a well state trying to be independent? Okay, this is this is my point, and hear me out, and then I'll get you to your response. As soon as the federal government starts losing tax revenue, they're going to start feeling it, and they're going to feel it pretty quickly, and then they're going to be like, uh, yep, guess what, that's not going to work for us. So, I am going to assume that the federal government in some way, shape, or form, whether it be National Guard, or, you know, doing the very most illegal thing of deploying the U.S. military to the streets of what they still consider a part of the U.S., whether they are trying to secede or not. Like a martial law type of deal? It's it's one of those situations where it, uh, I mean, it's going to be very unpopular, but I could totally 100% see him doing it. So I find it very difficult to believe that the U.S. military is going to fire upon its own citizens. The, the, the military itself, but I mean, at the same point in time, they will deploy the National Guard first. And if that still does not work, then they will deploy the The National Guard is run by the state. Exactly. Yeah. But don't you think... The well, no, government... no, 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 but you can conscript the, you know, National Guard of other states to send them somewhere else. That's why, like, right. let's say okay. they have a hurricane down in Louisiana. Mm-hmm. Guess what? Maryland National Guard can That's still true. go down there. Right. Now... Ken said they were going to follow suit, but then you talked about the federal government. Now, if they see that they're losing money on the first state that tries to be independent... Well, guess what? They're going to lose money on every state that tries to become independent. Right, right. But I'm just saying, with my whole slow burn opinion on it... On what? On it, when the first state tries to be independent, and the federal government sees that they're losing money. Yeah, it's going to be an instant thing. You yes. think, yeah, yeah. Think that they're all the other ones are going to fall suit? Probably not. They're well, going to that, that depends on how committed they are to right. being independent, from and if they're the going to make any kind of money. Particular system because they, they can tax the fuck out of a fucking state. 
who becomes independent. Well, it, it's all dependent. Uh, they control it's the all borders. It's all dependent upon what we, you know what you import, what you export. Right. Realistically, and plus, Let's say international waters. Once you come in, that's not international waters anymore. Right? So right. they still control the water system around that state, whether they come in or not. Uh, that's that's a good point. I didn't even think about. Yeah, Texas has got a uh, pretty robust uh, port system. Right. Florida would be even better. California has has one though also and yeah no one the, the Gulf of Alabama either. or was Alabama Mississippi. You don't think they'll put a hold to that real quick and fucking put a boundary out in the water? System? I mean, they, they'll, I'm sure they'll try. Well, it's, at it's, the same point in time, what are they going to do? Hold up more than like seventy fucking goddamn cargo ships that are still sitting right off the coast of L.A. There's cargo now, ships sitting out in the water right now. Yeah, but I mean, it's not the government holding them up. It's just they no. got no workers at the port. Think that matters to them? If they can make more money and leave the ships out in the port, the port. not really. I, I I have an idea. Though. Why why don't why don't uh, I propose something to you? Okay. Guys. Okay. I propose that the U the United States uh, federal government taxes the states and not the citizens. They they. I I propose that uh, the federal government should. Only through the U.S. Constitution uh, protect the rights of the citizens. Um, Question though, before right. you go forward. Okay. What would the states do after they do that? They're 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 free to make more robust laws as long as it doesn't interfere with the Constitution, freedom of speech. Um, I mean, basically the Twenty Six Amendments we already have. Right. All right. Do yeah. you think that they would tax the citizens? State. That, well, I mean, they're going to have that to. depends on right. them. They're, they're going to tax the citizens. Yeah, they're obviously the so the the the, the states would tax the government. The federal government would tax the tax the states, and the states would tax the citizens. Right, but at the same point in time, you're no longer paying federal income tax. You're you're just. Yeah, I mean, I assume you're probably state income tax is probably going by right. almost double. Yeah, they're going to um, make up for it. You probably. Uh, well, how, what does that do for like Social Security, which? Also, will not probably be available to us when we are ready to collect it. We could consider what that. What happens if you work in a different state? We consider that uh, infrastructure. We could consider it. My as, dad works in a different state. Right. He has to pay two state taxes. All the shit he pays. So. Well, we, we, we could have still a federal. I don't know. I, I don't know how that all works. A federal. Uh, skin, it's a skin 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 concept. Yeah. But. The, the, the federal government would. Uh, would continue to fund and repair the the interstates. Um, they would continue to fund. So they still collect the tax on gasoline, and so on and so forth. Uh, that's I mean, what I'm saying. That's, uh, yeah, that's, and, and on top of that, what about electric vehicles? Yeah, there's, there's Are they collecting the tax on electricity nowadays? And what about welfare? That would have to be cut down. I I, I would consider that part of a federal infrastructure, a uh, social safety net. Or, what, or the welfare? states, or the states could take care of it too. I, it would have to be a state thing, you know, with right. what you're proposing. Right. It would have to be a state thing. Yeah. Okay. And then the different states would have different laws, um, and then they would have more power power within. The, so what, basically, what I'm doing is I'm taking a lot of the power away from the federal government and giving that power to individual states, so that that the the, the citizens of those states feel better represented. By the people that they have in charge. I mean, I wait, wait, wait. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I, this is I, 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 You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. No, no, no. This is just spitballing. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. I like the concept. There's a lot of stuff. It's more complex. That needs to be worked out. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, right. Correct. Okay. I'll start off by saying that. Yeah. I think after it actually all does get worked out, all gets flushed out, you know, everything, everything just figure, gets figured out. You know, obviously you can't just be like, oh, we're doing this. Oh, yes. Yeah. No, 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 This is going to take time, years, 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 decades, decades. We'll be dead by the time. I, probably. Right. If, 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 if it, it even happens. starts now. But <laughs> I do like the concept. Right. I really do. Yeah. yeah. The overall, like, structure of so, so we would all still be considered part of the United States. We'd all support uh, each other in, in, many, in many ways. So if we have national disasters or something like that, the federal government, from tax from the states, would, uh, would help 
We'd state. all be branched together. Right. And, and I believe, in my personal opinion, that's, that's originally how the United States what was 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 come and it's it's all become more yeah. and more so way, way more centralized than it used to be. Right. Now or, what happens or, or if what it was envisioned one or more back states, in the seventeen seventy six or right. whatever. What right. happens if one or more states is lacking behind as far as like, desperately what, what in they debt and, or, and everything. That and sounds like a, that sounds like a state problem. Sounds like they need to they need to they need to figure their own stuff out. There's harsher penalties. But it's it's like bailing out major corporations that fail. That they should just let them fail, honestly, because all we're doing was is is having a bad idea but then continue. What do, you, what do you think their state should just become another state, and the state should be bigger? Or how how do you envision that? Because there's a like if they fail, then obviously, what are you going to do with that? Just give it to Mexico, or what? If 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 the state fails, then they need to change the way they're doing things. Maybe maybe at that point, the federal government needs to step in and would the state be able to declare bankruptcy? Like a corporation, <sighs> like a corporation. Yeah, I mean, these are all questions that uh, yeah, need like to be it's... answered, you know, in this particular thing. But at the same point in time, guess what? The United States federal government is on the verge of probably, I would say, not necessarily declaring bankruptcy, but they are close to the bankrupt state. 